Well, it's election year for many, but Governor Glenn Youngkin is in the middle of his term. And he's facing some challenges with other leaders in the Commonwealth. Here's more from our exclusive chat with the governor about some of the issues facing our region and more. We are talking with Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, and we've talked so far about some entertainment options for the Commonwealth, and we've talked about money and taxes. Let's talk about life or death situation, literally, when it comes to drug abuse, fentanyl issues in the Commonwealth. Uh, one of the ways that you're looking to attack this is through the legal system. Can you talk about your plan there? Yeah, every day, on average, five Virginians die of a fentanyl overdose. Uh, these are our neighbors and our friends. It doesn't discern whether they're rich or poor, Republicans or Democrats, or live in an urban environment or rural environment. Uh, and this is truly, truly a crisis moment. And we must interdict this. We must stop it. And I believe that dealers, distributors of illicit drugs and fentanyl that kill people should be charged with a felony homicide so we can get them off the streets. I've asked for bipartisan support here. I have heard from across the Commonwealth that Virginians, not just Republicans, but Republicans, independents, and Democrats support this. We've got to find our way to deliver for Virginians a way to get the dealers off the street that are killing people. Well, Governor, I, I appreciate that. You know, we've, we've laid out some, some great plans that you have and some of the prospects for the future. The question I have really is in ex executing those plans, uh, especially with the way that the legislature is laid out right now in Virginia as you're a Republican governor and then you have Democratic-led legislature. Uh, so realistically, how do you accomplish some of these priorities? So I will remind you that in the last two years, we had split government and it required our Democrat-led Senate to send me bills that were also sent over by our House. We have to do the same thing. You know, the Constitution's clear. Laws come to my desk that are passed by the General Assembly and then require a signature from the governor, and they're going to still require that. I think we've been successful over the last two years because of our approach of collaborating and sitting down and trying to work through issues, and we're going to continue to do the same. I have been encouraged. I've been meeting with leadership from House and Senate from Democrats and Republicans, and the initial meetings have been encouraging. And so I head into this session optimistic, optimistic that we're going to find lots to do together to deliver for Virginians, and that's what we're elected to do. And, Governor, the last time I spoke with you, you were governor-elect at the time, and we're sitting here now, you're halfway uh, through your term. How would you grade yourself in terms of what you feel you've accomplished as governor of Virginia? Well, I have been incredibly encouraged by all that we've gotten done. You know, Virginia, when we started, found itself really behind in job growth. We were bottom third in the nation, and now we're number three in the nation over the 24-month period. More Virginians working than ever, a 12-year high in labor participation. Virginians are back to work. I am so pleased with the progress that we've made on education, with record education budgets and lifting expectations of excellence but also raising the floor while we raise the ceiling. Our all-in tutoring program is superbly successful, and we're going to help our kids not just catch up, but forge ahead. I continue to be so excited about the progress we're making in recruiting law enforcement. We're paying them more, and we're standing up for them as we must. And the, the, the initiative to overhaul and transform behavioral health in the Commonwealth may be the most important thing we will do. We're one year in, we have seen huge success. We have two more years to go in the three-year transformation. It's bipartisan, it's needed, and I am incredibly, incredibly excited about what we're delivering. We have to move forward from here. We've had a great first half. We're winning at halftime. Virginia's as strong as she's ever been, but it's incumbent on our General Assembly and me and my administration to continue to deliver for Virginians. I believe we can in the second half. And we'll see what happens in that second half. Governor Glenn Youngkin recently giving his State of the Commonwealth address. We do appreciate your time joining us to expand on some of those issues with us this morning. Thank you so much, Governor, for joining us. Thanks, Governor. Great. Thank you. God bless you. And you just watched part two of our conversation with the governor. We played part one in our six o'clock hour, but you can catch the entire interview for yourself with Governor Yunkin on our website at fox5dc.com. All right.